welcome to another Free Willis episode. I'm sort of back. I'm still on downtime, but I can do some things now, so I decided to go back and filming. I'm feeling quite all right. The recovery has been really smooth sailing up until now, so fingers crossed it will stay that way. Pretty chuffed. And yeah, I wanted to do something, go back to filming, take advantage of this time that I have, a bit of extra time now. And I wanted to do something that I've been promising you I would do for the longest time, which is an up close and personal on the iconic London Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint. Yeah, this is it. This is the one that I <laughs> went all over London to get because iconic London is not sold in central London, it seems, which is really weird. Regarding my skin, keep in mind it is combination to oily. It has been quite hot for the past few days here in Lisbon. So the oils are starting to seep through, but because I've been in a hospital, I've, I've been under a lot of stress and all that, my skin is not at its best in terms of the texture of it. It's not as smooth as it usually is. It looks not smooth because of the hyperpigmentation, but my skin is usually really smooth and all of these marks you see are flat. Um, I have a couple of blemishes here. This is because of the glasses. I wash them every night, but still I break out from the glasses. I'll have to change them. But yeah, as usual, 43 year, years old of wrinkles and some acne breakouts, not many at the time. And you know, this is what we have to work with. We have some things that we can test on my kind of skin that maybe people are very nice skin just wouldn't be able to see uh, because, you know, different skins. But yeah, Iconic London, uh, the blurring skin tint. It is a liquid, but it's not as runny as you may have thought. Here it is. And I'm just gonna go, I forgot my little, uh, if you're wondering about my little Danessa Myrick spatula, or not spatula, the little, ring thing, palette, um, it's, I have to wash it, it's dirty, so. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna start with a light layer. I'm using, this is a hybrid kind of between a flat brush and a fluffy brush from Sephora when they used to make amazing brushes. Sadly, they do not carry this any longer, or at least these models. Um, my, some of my favorite brushes from uh, of all time have been from this collection from Sephora, but very yeah, cool. Okay, you can apply this with your fingers, I'd say, but I'm one to use my um, tools more often. And I'm just smoothing any lines from the brush on the skin with my sponge, which is a Real Techniques one. It's still my favorite. Alongside with the Eco Tools one, but these are a bit cheaper, I think. I always get them on a sale, a pack of four, and I'm done for the rest of the year, basically, because a sponge should be changed every three months. So I'm going in for the second layer. As you can see, it has a pretty light coverage, but it still gives you something and you can layer it. This is not one of those that when you start layering it looks weird. I'm gonna go on my forehead with just one layer, just because I never do my forehead, <laughs> except for these videos. And now I'm gonna pat it back in very gently so that I don't take out any of the product that I've applied. And here it is. I forgot to do, to do the before shot with my bare skin, but I hope that you seeing this process will just be enough. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with a bit extra right here where I have uh, the biggest spots, just a tiny, tiny bit. Maybe I'll go in with my finger. It will provide me more coverage. This foundation retails for about 34 euros, depending on where you buy it. You can find it on Beauty Bay and look fantastic or feel unique, one of those. Um, and the claims are, 
It's a skin tint that delivers a weightless veil of light to medium coverage with a luminous multi-dimensional second skin finish. It blends into skin, blurring pores, dark spots and an even texture for a super smooth base that has a satin matte finish with a hint of glow. It's a perfect pick for summer when you want a barely there fresh face look and that still looks polished. That's what they claim um, and they have some skincare claims but I'm not gonna look at it because I'm always wearing my sunscreen which hopefully will have created kind of a barrier on my skin so I'm not hoping or waiting or expecting any kind of skincare benefits from a foundation to penetrate into my skin if they do they do but it's not gonna bring me any miraculous results you know anything radical that will be noticeable the only thing that I usually notice is if they have any hydrating kind of benefits with which most of these kind of skincare hybrid foundations do claim to have uh, because I will then expect my skin not to look drier throughout the day and not to look patchy or have dry patches you know cakiness that kind of stuff and it's the only part of those skincare claims that I look for the rest of it I use skincare for my skincare I don't rely on a foundation it's like there's a foundation that people say you don't have to wash off. My friends, if it creates a layer on your face, you should wash it off eventually. It's it, There's not one product that does it all. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back and we'll see how it looks. I wasn't going to do anything special, but then I picked up a Cleona eyeshadow and here we are. But hey-ho. <laughs> This is why I do my space bonds. I just dry my hair as usual after my shower and then I just roll them while they're still warm and keep them up with some of these claw thingies and it kind of gives me a bit of a wave for five minutes. <laughs> this is what we have. Um, the, it is now 11.36 in the a.m. It's a bit late but you know what? Such is life. So regarding the claims, you know I've been using this foundation for a while now, so I'm, I kind of know what, where it's going, but just letting you know, upon first application, it's kind of bang on um, regarding the claims. It does have a very lightweight feel. It is light coverage that you can build up to medium, and you can see my um, uh, hyperpigmentation is basically hidden right now or blurred out without any concealer. I only concealed around my eyes. Um, it is quite blurring. It is a satin matte finish. I think it's um, showing a bit more dewy on camera, but I did apply a dewy highlighter. So if you can see my forehead and this area here and my jaw, this is the true finish of the product. As I said, it's really lightweight and they don't have that claim, but it is kind of self-setting. So if I touch my face, I don't feel like it's going to stick to my fingers and come off um, immediately like most foundations that are not well self-setting do. So I don't feel the need to powder this area here of my face at all usually with this foundation i usually just powder the sides of my nose because it gets really oily throughout the day and i did powder a tiny bit under my eyes just to set the concealer but that's it regarding powder it took in of course cream and powder products really well i used um dusk by glossier this is sheerer now this is not as pigmented as the one that I used to have, but anyway. And I used Danessa Myrick's tiara uh, as my highlighter. I didn't put on any bronzer. And then I applied a, a tad bit of bronzer by Bare Minerals. This is Kiss of Pink. Uh, that's what I did on my cheeks. I didn't do anything else, no contour, no, no bronzer or anything. Because as I said, I wasn't going to do much with my face until I decided to stick my finger in a Cleona shadow and here we were. Today is going to go up to 31 degrees Celsius so it's a it's going to be a very warm day. It's been a couple of warm days right now in Lisbon and I bought this in the winter time. I've been wearing this on and off uh, throughout cold to mild weather 
but this is going to be a good test on its longevity when oils are involved and heat is involved. So we'll see at the end of the day how this is holding up. I'll do a couple of check-ins and at the end of the day, I'll just gather my thoughts and tell you what I think about the foundation. So I'll see you in a bit. Just a quick reminder that what works for me may not work for you and vice versa, but we can still be friends. I'm providing you my very personal, unique, anecdotal experience with one product with my specific skin type in a very specific day with a very specific climate and so many variables that are completely different from individual to individual. So we can take some conclusions and generalizations, but it's not a guarantee that the product will perform the same way for me that will for you. So whenever possible, I always advise if you're curious about something watch lots of videos with people that have the same kind of skin type to yours or that value the same things in makeup and have the same preferences as you do and whenever possible as always go in store and either take some from the testers and test it there but the perfect thing is to get some samples and use them at home just and even shade matching, it's easier when in store. So whenever possible, do that and keep it all in mind. This is all subjective, okay? Okay. It's 5.14. I've been wearing this foundation for six hours now, I think. And this is how it looks. Basically, I have a bit of gathering on this, which is my deepest line on the size of my mouth. I had a bit of gathering around my nose right in these crevices and I can't see anything else so everything else is as it was six hours ago more than six hours ago quite impressive in my opinion uh, for it's been really hot I've been sweating I've been recording so I have to close the windows which is really sweat inducing so this that you see is a testament to its longevity at least un up until now i'm gonna go out for a bit so we'll see how it performs after that <laughs> um in contact with the wild so i'll see you later bye okay so here we are it's 9 52 p.m so it means this foundation has been on my face for over 10 hours. Usually 10 hours is the amount of time that I try to give to do a thorough up close and personal because I think that's the amount of time normal people uh, need to have their makeup on if they're out uh, and have to go to work and commute and all that. So that's where I draw my line for uh, good foundations that stay on at least throughout the whole work day. And as you can see, it, it looks really good still. I still have coverage. My skin still looks pretty fresh. I have not powdered at all. I have applied a spray sunscreen all over my face uh, before I went out. That is, it's a bit more emollient. So it kind of um, gives more of a more dewy finish to the skin. So my skin may look a bit more, um, oily maybe or shiny than it would if I hadn't spray that on but it's one of those things that I do often uh, so nothing too much and this is how it looks after 10 hours so it's looking pretty well there has been some gathering as I said earlier on this big crease here and nowhere else even on this area here where I have some scarring happening because of the uh, recurrent uh, blemishes everything is pretty nice and it doesn't feel sticky which is something that I really really like on this foundation it's despite the spray on uh, SPF it still feels quite lightweight so I really enjoy this foundation. I couldn't wait to do an up close and personal for you and let you know how it went. And I really enjoyed doing this throughout such a hot day. It was really hot outside. And I did go outside for a little bit uh, to get some things. And I really like this one. It's a staple for me. I can tell as the weather gets warmer, this is gonna be one of those that I'm gonna be using basically every single day. I like that it's not too high coverage. It's not matte. It's satin, it has a, a nice satin finish. It doesn't feel sticky. It looks 
great. It kind of blurs my skin, which I appreciate. It doesn't sink into my lines too much. It's something that I can just do this and it's done. Um, like so, it's gone. So I really enjoy this one. Um, in case you're wondering, I'm using the shade Neutral Light, just so you know. Um, and yeah, that's it. This is my Up Close and Personal on the Iconic London super smoother blurring skin tint and um yeah it has become a favorite it has become a favorite i hope you have enjoyed this video as usual i would invite you to leave me a like subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below what you want to see next from me have you tried this foundation did it work for you let me know in the com comments below and as always thank you for spending your time on me and i'll see you on my next video bye